you know, since moving from Bell Labs, you know, my research has been moving uh, more and more in the direction of biomedical uh, device technologies, and that was something that just had no presence at all at Bell Laboratories. But some of the uh, materials and some of the technologies that we've been developing over the years have a lot of compelling potential for uh, for biomedicine and improving the way that we do human health care, reducing cost, and improving the outcomes, and so on. And so uh, I would say over the last five to seven years, uh, you know, my entire group has shifted more and more in that direction. Again, basic research on materials, but in the context of biomedical devices. I think when you move into biology, it's a much more complex system because you're talking not only about, you know, electronics with, you know, geometrical forms and mechanical properties and materials that nobody's really looked at before, but then you're talking about how those devices not only operate in isolation, but how do they talk to the body and there you you are injecting yourself into all the complexities of uh, biology like how the brain works nobody knows how the, how the brain works and so how are you going to take a piece of electronics and put it on the brain and do something so there's uh, sort of a research enabling aspect of these devices not just a clinical tool to uh, address an unmet uh, you know uh, need that a physician is grappling with but they're actually enabling uh, tools that will hopefully, we believe, um, you know, advance this basic state of understanding around, uh, you know, how biology is working, whether that's, you know, what causes arrhythmias, you know, in, in, in a beating heart or what is uh, giving rise to uh, seizures, you know, that, that epileptics are, are suffering from or what, what is the root cause of Parkinson's disease and how could you use electronics not only to reveal those root causes, but actually act as an interventional device, a kind of, uh, you know, uh, bioelectronic medicine, in, in, in a sense, to uh, treat that disease. So it's not not only you know a device that's that's addressing a disease state, but it's also a research, research tool that's hel helping you know drive fundamental understanding. So there's a real mix of uh, your basic and applied things going on in that, in that particular area of research that's very appealing to us. So 